Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Declan here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an awesome unlimited money and unlimited reputation glitch all in one in GTA 5 Online. And this one is quite different to the normal glitches that you normally see when it does come to money and reputation. But nevertheless guys, this is one hell of an insane way to make money and reputation fast. Now, kind of different money glitches you are going to start seeing on my channel. I did the armor truck one a while back around one or two weeks ago that you guys saw where the armor truck keeps respawning over and over again and you can keep getting the money from that over and over again. Now this one is much better than that and it is definitely a different type of glitch. So I hope you guys do go on to enjoy the video. If you do guys, all I ask is that you leave a like, maybe share it on your Twitter or Facebook and share it with your friends as it really does help me out guys. And without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So in order for you guys to actually start this insane money and insane reputation glitch, the first thing you guys want to do is have a friend in the game and that friend is going to be initiating the glitch for you and basically I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do that right now. If you don't have anybody to do this with, make sure you comment in your gamer tags and your PSNs in the description down below and help each other out. So basically, the one person who is going to be initiating the glitch we need to go into an online session. Now the online session that he's in needs to be either full of players or nearly full of players. I would say around 12 or more players in that session is fine. And then once you guys have got that set up, what you then want to do is press start, then go to the game store and press A1. So it'll put you onto the alert screen that says, are you sure you want to access the game store? Now this part can be a little bit tricky guys, but trust me, as soon as you know how to do it properly, you should be fine to go. So as long as you are in a session that is nearly full of players and you have gone to the game store and you are now on this alert screen, you will need to be fast here guys. What you want to do of course is press A and as soon as you guys press A, literally as soon as you press A to enter the game store, hold down on the D-pad and select Michael from single player as fast as you can. Now if you guys did that part correctly and you did it fast enough, it will say are you sure you want to quit this session? So what you want to do of course is wait around 3-4 to four seconds on this menu and then press A. Now what should happen here is it should proceed to spawn you back down into another session. Now before it does that, it should transition you to the Xbox Game Store. And as soon as the Game Store does load up, what you want to do is simply hit B and then it will proceed to spawn you down once again. Now, like I did say, guys, that part is the hardest part of the glitch. It can be a little bit tricky to do, but it shouldn't be too hard. And as soon as you guys get that part working, then you are fine to go. Now, once it spawns you down, you should be frozen as Michael, or you may be walking around. But basically, guys, what you want to do is press start once again, then go to the game store again. And this time when you go to the game store, guys, and you back out from the game store, you will be able to spawn down in as Michael into an online session. So basically, you are now Michael from single player in an online session. Now once you guys do spawn back down into the online session as Michael from single player, you now have the ability to set an infinite bounty on somebody's head. So go ahead and ring up Lester, then place a bounty on one of your friend's head, make sure that the two of your friends are in the game with you, place a bounty on one of your friend's head, make sure that it is the most bounty that you can. So I would suggest placing a $10,000 bounty on your friend's head as that way the other person who's going to be killing your friend gains $9,000 and 2,000 reputation every time he kills him. Now this is basically how you initialize the glitch. When you place that bounty on your friend's head, that will be an infinite bounty until Michael from single player dies or until the person leaves the game who is playing as Michael. Now that is the initial part of the glitch. You need one person to do this guys and then as soon as you have placed the bounty, you can go ahead and go AFK while your other friend kills the person you placed the bounty on as you guys are going to see now. So this is the other perspective from the glitch in play. As you guys can now see, my friend Voy has now initiated the glitch you guys just saw me do at the very start. So he is now Michael from single player in an online session and he is now going to place a bounty on my other friend's head. And that is going to be an infinite bounty as you guys are now going to see. So he's now placed a bounty on my friend's head. And every single time my friend now respawns, he will respawn with a bounty on his head as you guys are now going to see. So every single time I go back to kill him, I will gain $9,000 and 2,000 reputation, making this glitch absolutely insane. So as long as you have a person in the game who is Michael from single player in online, and as long as that person sets a bounty on somebody's head in that game, that person will have an infinite bounty on his head. So hopefully I am explaining things well enough like i did say guys you do need somebody to actually initiate the glitch for you which is a pain but like i did say at the start guys make sure you comment your gamer tags and your psn's down below and help each other out with this take it in turns and grind this out because this is probably one of the best ways to make both money and reputation together at the exact same time and it's definitely an efficient way of making money and it's definitely something different to the normal lse methods that you see nowadays 
Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy. I want to give a quick shout out to Voy and Dio Rapids. Both of their links will be down in the description down below. They were a big help for me today. So make sure you go over and subscribe and follow them on Twitter. And without further ado, if you do have any problems, make sure to leave a comment down below as this was really hard for me to commentate and I hope you all enjoyed. Anyway, guys, with that being said, I will see you all in the next video.